First thing, you know, when everybody started seeing, you know, tourism and travel, I mean, it's one of the biggest industries that's been hit hard, you know, along with the hospitality industry, restaurants and retail. Um, and, you know, the first thing we did was really make sure we were reaching out to our local partners, our hotels, our restaurants, seeing what they needed and what we could do. Um, you know, because in my world, I handle sports and events. And so you're talking anything from pro like PGA, LPGA to, you know, NCAA stuff or SEC stuff down to the grassroots travel ball events. And so all that had stopped for a lot, a lot of uh, time. And so, you know, we really wanted to make sure that we reached out to our local partners to see what they needed. Some of the things that we've done, we had something with a lot of the local restaurants that we would buy meals from another local restaurant to go support their staff and their employees. And then it just kept reciprocated. And then we did masks. We have masks that we have bought that go to all our restaurants in need, you know. And so we're just trying to be a, we're a big service industry. We do a lot more servicing than we do selling, but we really needed to make sure that our partners were taken care of. So that was kind of the first thing for me reaching out to our event partners whether it's like I mentioned PGA LPGA or some of your travel baseball groups really reaching out to them to see what they they were doing you know because in the event world events stopped uh, meetings stopped conferences and, and tour groups uh, people are amazed at the Auburn Opelika area in Lee County in general how many visitors come to the area um, on an annual basis. We had a record year in expenditures from the fiscal year uh, 19. And so we were seeing that trajectory keep going. And so for me, from a sports standpoint, it was a lot of, hey, are there some opportunities to host some events? Um, and so we have had, you know, things like your outdoor sports, your diamond sports, you know, baseball, softball, adult softball, uh, golf courses have been going, have, have been filled probably busier than they ever have been. And then as far as tournaments, we hosted the American Junior Golf Association in early July at RTJ in Opelika. And that brings in visitors and brings visitors to spend money in our restaurants and in our retail shops that are hurting so bad. So we really just tried to look at ways we could help locally, be a service to our partners, to our community, to our citizens, and then reach out to those that we've been trying to do business with or have done business with to say, hey, when you're ready, we've got health uh, standards taken care of, our health department, you know, our cities, and of course our state. Um, we were all staying in touch with those things. Annually, we run basically a, a photo contest and it's the Auburn Opelika photo contest. And so it's anything from, you know, it can be a professional photographer, you can be an amateur, you, it could be me. I cannot take photos, but these phones make it really good. So anybody can enter, you go online, it's aotourism.com slash photo contest, or you just Google, you will find it, I promise. Um, and so the, the winnings is $500 gift card to either our local camera store called Camera Graphics or to any store of the winners choosing in the Auburn Opelika area with a few restrictions that apply. The deadline for this is August 31st. And so basically what it is, is you can take any photo. It doesn't have to be an existing one. It can be one that you took years ago that you've just been waiting to put in some, something like this. It could be things in the county. It could be Chihuahua State Park. It could be something that's outside of just the city limits, but it has to be within, you know, this area. It can't be something, you know, say like Lake Martin or something like that. It's gotta be central to this area. You know, some of the ideas that you think of is landscape or sporting or lifestyle. Um, I know one of the winners last year, it was a uh, two uh, young couple that literally was sharing a milkshake at uh, one of our local restaurants here downtown. And it was just one of those that the committee thought um, as far as the category, and there are categories. Um, and so I just encourage people, it's a fun thing. Uh, people, we get a lot of submissions um, and it's fun to go through and look at, you know, the quality um, images that people take. And the cool thing is, is whoever wins, you'll get photo credits. And being that we're tourism and that we do a ton of advertising for this area through digital, you know, through printed material, there's a high, high likely chance that that image will be used in some of our publications and you will get that photo credit for it. So that's pretty much what the photo contest is for Auburn Opelika.